Hello, I'm Scott Marcus. I'm a veteran of the U.S. Army, and uh, I would like to introduce our ceremony for the Veterans Day program. And uh, I hope all of you uh, appreciate your veterans. Uh, so many have given so much, and they've asked very little in return. So hopefully we can uh, give some kind of respect to them today, and, and uh, thank you for your attention. National Anthem will be performed by the Calhoun High School Men's Quartet, Mr. Riley Anderson, William Long, Logan Rigney, and Joseph Taylor. This is In Flanders Fields by John McRae, who was a physician, poet, and author during World War I who passed away while serving there. In Flanders Fields the poppies blow, between the crosses row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Good morning, I'm Dr. Bob Butler, Assistant Principal of the Kowloon Campus, Midland High Schools. As a veteran, once a Marine, always a Marine, I'm honored to be speaking with you today on such an important occasion. We are here today to honor our service members and to remember the sacrifices that they have made and the courage it takes to pursue duty and honor for our country. The writer Michelle de Montaigne once said, Valor is stability, not of legs and arms, but of courage and the soul. We are here today to honor our heroes, to remember their achievements, their courage, and their dedication, and to say thank you for all their sacrifices. We remember all of the heroes who are with us today and those who are here only in spirit. A person can't help but feel awed by the enormity of what we celebrate today. We stand in the midst of patriots and the family and friends of those who have nobly served. Thank you for answering your country's call to duty. You have made America's military the most respected around the world. Many of our soldiers have been awarded medals, added their names to numerous monuments, and have had buildings that carry their name to honor them for their bravery. But nothing can ever fill the hole left behind by a fallen comrade, and no number of medals or ribbons can comfort those left behind. Today, this Veterans Day, People all across America will be gathering to honor and remember and pay gratitude to those who gave and are now serving their country. What we do at Calhoun High School, the city of Calhoun, and Gordon County is just one small spark 
that combines to create a greater flame that burns across our country today and every day. It's not a lot, but it is one small way that we can honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice so that we can live in freedom. Your presence in the celebration of Veterans Day is a tribute to our lost troops, those who still serve and their families. It's a way to say we remember and we're grateful for all that you have done for us, for all the members of our armed forces who have served in every clime and place, we remember and honor them all. And we say to them, thank you for your service. God bless us all. God bless our troops and God bless America. We observe Veterans Day on an anniversary, not of a great battle or of the beginning of a war, but of a day when war ended and our nation was again at peace. Ever since the armistice of November the 11th, 1918, this day has been to remember our debt to all who have worn the uniform of the United States. Our veterans have borne the costs of America's wars and have stood watch over America's peace. And today, every veteran can be certain the nation you served and the people you defended are grateful. Today and every day, the prayers of the American people are with those who wear our country's uniform. They serve a great cause, and they follow a great tradition handed down to them by America's veterans. Our veterans from every era are the finest of citizens. We owe them the life we know today. They command the respect of the American people, and they have our lasting gratitude. The military life is built around sacrifice and complete devotion to America. If you have lived that life, then you know the meaning of commitment to a greater cause. In so many ways, the life we live today has been shaped by our veterans. On Veterans Day, we remember the fallen, and we show our respect to those still among us, the veterans we know as our friends, neighbors, relatives, and colleagues. Not every veteran has known the full fury of battle, but most count their time in uniform among the defining experiences of their lives. The military drew out the best that was in them, instilling the highest standards of diligence, discipline, and loyalty. That is a bond joining every veteran from every branch of the service. Whether drafted or enlisted, commissioned or non-commissioned, each took an oath, lived by a code, and stood ready to fight and die for their country. generation has passed since the war ended in Vietnam. Since that time, even since the war in the Persian Gulf, the technology of warfare has become far more complex and sophisticated. Yet our most basic military asset has not changed at all. It is the character, the daring, and the resourcefulness of those who do the fighting. No matter how complicated war might be, it always comes down to the ones who fly the planes, man the ships, and carry the rifles. And our country's military has left a legacy like no other fighting force ever assembled. The uniform they wear and the flag they carry are held in esteem wherever they have served. And that is their finest tribute. Across the world, to people who struggle and suffer, the sight of an American in uniform has meant hope belief and deliverance. 
Veterans Day is set aside to remember every man and woman who has taken up arms to defend our country. We honor every soldier, sailor, airman, marine, and coast guardsman who gave some of the best years of their lives to the service of the United States and stood ready to give life itself on our behalf. 25 million veterans walk among us, and on this day, our nation thanks them all. When history looks back upon the records of our age and our nation centuries from now, I believe it will be written that once there was a great nation of free people who sent their very best young men and women out to serve on the frontiers of freedom in uniform. They went forth to defend their nation and its ideals, giving up the comforts and conveniences of home. They led lives of great consequence, for they kept the torch of liberty burning in the oldest democracy on earth. Each and every one of them were heroes and gave to every child born thereafter a precious and irreplaceable gift. And their nation remained eternally grateful. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home.